The Church of the Transfiguration of the Lord, located on Vesru Avenue, 11. Architect Apollon Nikolievich Edrazin graduated from the St. Petersburg School of Civil Engineers and for some time served as the architect of the Riga Diocese. This explains why he built several Orthodox churches in the League. At the end of the 19th century, due to industrial growth, the population of Sarkandalga grew. The Orthodox parish needed a new church. In 1887th year, the city council allocated a plot for construction near the railway station of Sarkandal. At that time it was called Alexandrovskaya Height. In 1889, Edelson is developing a project for a new Orthodox church. This is the Transfiguration Church. There was not much money for the construction of the temple. The bulk of the money was donations from local residents. Therefore, the church was designed from wood, quite simple, but absolutely necessary. The construction work was led by contractor Nikolai Petrovich Waz, with whom Edrazin collaborated on the construction of residential buildings. Before construction, a memorial plaque was laid on the site of the foundation. At the same time, preparations were being made for the internal arrangement of the temple, but there were not enough funds. Other churches came to the rescue. The shield of the iconostasis was handed over by the Ilk convent. The Transfiguration Church of the Uzdvin Fortress handed over six icons. Four icons were painted anew. In 1890, the construction was completed and a new temple appeared in all its glory on Sarkandagiva. On the 15th of May this year, the presence of about 2,000 parishioners illuminated the church with the most consecrated Arseny Bishop of Riga and Mitrov. Thus the new parish began to operate. In its form, the church building resembles the Russian Orthodox churches of the 18th century, with a stepped bell tower at the entrance and a small head above the altar. The church has a low gable roof with a small dome on a blind octagonal drum. Each of the side walls has several large windows. Two large windows in the altar in the eastern wall of the temple. The interior is decorated with a white three-tiered iconostasis with the royal gates of wonderful carving. Nearby, on the site along the avenue between 88, which belonged to the church, was the 10th Russian Elementary School. The school existed until 1940. Subsequently, the building housed the military enlistment office of the Oktyabrsky district. At the end of the 1990s, the building degraded and has not been preserved to this day. At the beginning of the 20th century, a stone church was planned to be built on the site of a wooden church. One project was presented by the chief architect of the Rengold League, George Schmeiling. The second project, according to which we were going to build a new temple, was provided by civil engineer Vladimir Didunik. The new grandiose temple was conceived in the Byzantine style, crossbought, with an attached bell tower, similar in volume composition to the Riga Cathedral of the Nativity of Christ. But the First World War did not allow this project to be carried out. Thus, the church has passed through the centuries about its unchanged form and during its existence did not stop working, even during the Second World War. Among the shrines of the temple, the Ivoron icon of the Most Holy Lady of Arthea Tokos, an ancient letter in a high kyot, is especially revered by believers. In the same fence with the church there is a parish house and another small house, which houses a Sunday school. Today, the Transfiguration Church remains the only Orthodox church in the Zemelski district of Riga.